Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you how to make your very own rare drop counter, like the one I have right here that I keep at the top of my stream. Once I show you how to do this method, you're gonna think, whoa, that's super easy. Um, after that, you'll be able to actually use this same method for things like death counters. You can use it for things like um, shinies, like shiny counters if you play Pokemon and other things like that that you wanna keep up with during your stream or on YouTube videos. So, here we go. <laughs> So the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up your browser and search death counter and soundboard. Um, it should pop up as one of the first ones as soon as you start typing in death, hopefully. <laughs> you want to click that. Now you're going to see the um, stream square page and I think this is the official page for it. It also has a very brief tutorial on there. Um, however, if you go to the link to download it, you're not going to be able to get to the actual link because that link is outdated. So what you want to do is you want to go to softpedia.com, click here, it'll say download now, go ahead and click there. Um, you want to do the secure download if you can cookies blah 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 all right perfect so um, if it doesn't start automatically then you can click right here and start it manually but you see that ours went ahead and started so you're gonna click that exe file um, you're gonna get a pop-up which I just did um, asking you to confirm it so you want to say okay and allow it um, you want to go ahead and continue normal like wherever you want to save it I save mine on my C drive just because that's where I keep all of my software and I keep my games on my D drive so um, I went ahead and installed it but basically you're gonna get these prompts um, it's trying to tell me that it's already on there right as soon as that's done and you um, said yes and next to all of the prompts make sure you hit finish after that um, you should see something that says DCSB so that's what it'll save as I created a shortcut to my desktop I have one down here too um, just because it's more convenient for me but you want to go ahead and open that guy up now uh, I already have a counter but I'm gonna do a brand new one just to show you guys how to make one I don't really mess with the sound part of it. There are more things that you can do with this and more functions. Um, and I'm sure there's probably some tutorials online for that, but we're gonna focus on the counter. So you wanna go here. And actually, just to show you guys how it is, I'm gonna just completely delete all of my counters currently and make a brand new one. So you're gonna go here. I'm gonna put rare drops. All right. So the first thing it asks you for is a file. Now the reason it asks you for a file is because what you need to do is you need to go to your notepad. So just type in notepad. Everyone should have it if you have Windows. You don't have to download anything externally for that. So you wanna go to your notepad. Um, I already have one specifically for that. But you want to go to your notepad and you want to enter just the number zero. That's it. The number zero, you want to save. Save it somewhere you remember. Um, so file, save as. And then like this one says rare drop counter. I saved it on my desktop because that's easy for me to find. Um, you can create a folder with all of your counters and things like that. I highly recommend it if you have more than one. So you want to go ahead and save that. Now you go to that file, open that up. Let's see where we are. Rare drop counter. So from there, it'll show your count. You wanna leave that at zero. There's no need to change that. That'll change on its own as you use the counter. Now the increments is where you would like to make it custom for you. If you wanna go up, if you wanna hit the button and your number goes up by five, then change it to five. I always keep it at one and I recommend one just because you can always, let's say you want to go up five, you can always hit the button five times. It's a little bit more of a pain in the butt if you're streaming and you have to change the increments in the counter rather than just pressing the button a bunch of times. <laughs> but that's just my preference. It's totally up to you. Feel free to play with it as much as you want. 
So once that's done, you want to exit. You don't want to touch anything else. Now make sure this is selected, so this should show up as blue. Um, if it shows up as white, the counter is not active, and if you press the button, it will not work. And then you guys see, I can press the button and my counter's going up. Um, the way that you change what the hotkey is, you want to go to settings and go to where it says keyboard. Um, next is to change counters. Previous is to go back a counter. So if you use multiple counters at one time, you can have a hotkey for that. Um, I have mine set as plus um, and scroll lock for um, the increment to go down because I don't use those buttons very often. So once you're done with that, you just exit out. And then let me show you guys this in action. So I will create a new one and I'll go to where it says text. Now you want to make one, I already have one but I'll make a new one for you guys. So I'll put rare drop count. All right, so you have your rare drop count on there. Now for the text part you have to read from file and that's why that file was so important. It's because we need that for the text to display on the stream. So I messed with it for a second, it's at 2, that's why it's showing 2, but let's put it back down to 0. Alright, we got our text right here. I'll make it big, normally I don't have this big, but I'll make it big just so you guys can like really see the example. Um, so you have your 0 right here. Now we're going to go to our rare drop counter, again like I said make sure that's selected, and press our hotkey. So I press the plus and it's going up and up and up in uh, increments of 1. Now I do have a tip for people who are Fantasy Star Online players. Um, they recently fixed this issue where you don't have to tab out of the game. Even if it's in windowed full screen, previously you would have to tab out of the game to make the button work. So you should be able to press it in the game. If not, what I do normally is I hit the Windows key just so my uh, thing gets me out of the game or alt tab out of it and then press the button which is a little inconvenient and let me show you guys an example of what I mean right now all right so if you guys look while I have the game open and I'm selecting the game I'm pressing my rare drop counter I'm pressing my hotkey and nothing is happening so what I normally do is just to do it quickly um, I press the Windows button and then I do like my rare drop counter. It'll show whatever you have <laughs> as the hotkey in your Windows thing, but that's pretty much my fix for it. Um, you can also, like I said, alt tab out of it into something else, but that tends to take a little too long. I play with a controller, so it takes me a while to do that as opposed to just smacking the Windows button one or two times. All right, guys, I really hope that that helped, but that is it. That's everything you need to know to set up a rare drop counter in PSO. Like I mentioned before, unfortunately, you do have to tab out of the game nine times out of 10 to get your counter to go up and to press your hotkey. Just some tips, either get super quick with doing that uh, Windows key and then hitting the button and then going back into the game. That's kind of what I do. Um, another thing that I do is I keep a little notepad next to my stream and I'll have like a pen So I'll keep little tally marks of rare drops if I'm not able to add it to the counter And then at the end of that session, then I'll ask chat uh, How many rare drops do you think I got? It's a cool interactive moment because they can tell me how many they think I got But then I can see on my tally sheet how many I have and then update it live for them if you guys know any fixes for the issue that we have with PSO, feel free to mention them in the comments. Um, again, I have played in windowed, I've played in windowed full screen, I've played with a virtual full screen and playing in windowed, and full screen. <laughs> I know that was a lot, but I've played in pretty much every way that you can play PSO display wise. So if there are any other fixes or anything that I missed, let me know. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. I don't really do tutorial videos, but if you guys like this, just let me know and maybe I can explain something else you guys have questions about. 
Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to know when I post my videos because I do post on YouTube very randomly when I'm kind of in the mood or I get a brain blast of a video idea. <laughs> If you want to check out my live streams, check me out at twitch.tv slash Skulls Nightshade. I stream Monday through Friday, starting at noon um, to about 4 p.m. Sometimes I do stream later than that. Um, if you do follow me on Twitch, turn on notifications because I occasionally do other streams with either informative content or just playing games, mostly PSO. Alright guys, bye!